Hello friends, in my previous video, I have given details about how to become a registered pharmacist in Germany or a licensed pharmacist in Germany. And today I want to present a video before you with another important profession and that is dentistry. If you have watched my previous video about uh, how to become a registered or a licensed pharmacist in Germany, uh, you would notice that there are some similarities for dentistry also. So if you have not watched my uh, previous video, you can see it in the i button here. I will give you the, the link there. You can watch it later. Now dentistry, before getting to dentistry, what I want to tell you is that I will be giving regularly videos about uh, opportunities for various professions in Germany in addition to the study options that I give. And you must understand that there is a lot of effort being made into this to make the video very concise, very logical and very easy to understand. So all these opportunities must be known to as many people as we can. So I think uh, I, I would request everyone to share it with as many people as you can. Now even if you are not a dentist, even if it is not your pertinent topic, if you watch the full video you will be able to understand the process, the opportunities so that you can assist some other dentists who are looking for an opportunity in, in, in Germany or any other country. So please go through the video. If you appreciate the video, please like it, please share with your friends and if you are new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and then press the bell button so that you are always alerted whenever I put up a new video. And if any of you would like to get some personal guidance or assistance, you can contact me on my email jtkguide at gmail.com. Now coming into the, the profession of a dentist. If you are a dentist, a BDS from India and if you want to practice in Germany, you need to go through an assessment process at the end of which you will get a, a license for practice. Now for this you have to undergo two assessment tests. One is a language test, the other one is a knowledge test. The language test, they call it Fachsprachprüfung or order Fachsprachenprüfung, which is a technical language examinations. Whether you know the technical terms that are being used in the dentist profession in Germany or are you conversant with the technical terms in the dentistry practice in Germany. So that is Fachsprachprüfung. Once you finish that, then you have the Kennisprüfung. Now, Kennis proofing is the, the knowledge test at the end of which if you pass that, you get the approbation. So these are the two tests any dentist who want to go to Germany and practice there, they need to undergo. As you know, Germany uh, has a number of federal states. So each state has uh, different rules. So you may see, even if I give you a process here, you may see slight differences in different states. But ultimately things are not going to be very different. There may be slight differences in each state. So I will give you what is going to be the process for that. Now we have to, the first thing that we have to do is we have to learn a German language. And once you reach a level, then we have to submit the, the documents. Now what are the documents that we have to submit? We have to submit all our academic documents, internship, work experience, police clearance certificate, medical certificate and then the passport, then your language certificate. Now all these documents have to be, also there could be some changes in, in, in some states. So you have to submit all the documents in German language translated by an authorized translator. Now before you submit these documents, your German language level has to be B2. So once you pass the German language level B2, then you can submit all these documents for your registration process. 
And when, when you submit all these documents, along with the documents, if you can submit a conditional job offer, offer letter from a future employer, whom in, in German they call it Zukunftiger Arbeitgeber. So if you have a, a employment letter from a future employer, you have an advantage when you get a document from back from the registering authority. The point is, when you submit all the documents, then they will give you a deficit notification. In German, they call it deficit beside. Once you get that deficit notification, then that deficit notification will tell you what you lack and what needs to be done. Now, when you give those deficit beside, along with that, they will give you a work permit, which they call Beruf Sarlaubnis for two years to work. So, if only you have given your conditional job offer letter, then they give you that. In the conditional job offer letter, the employer will tell them, if they give the Beruf's allowance, then they are ready to give you the job. So, once you get that, then the advantage is, you have enough time to practice in a dentist clinic. So, you will get to know what are the, the processes in a, in, a, in a praxis, in a clinic, in a dentist clinic. You will know the languages, the terminologies, how they deal with patients. So when you come to know all those things, when you appear for the exams, it's going to be very advantageous for you. So the Beruf Sarlaubnis gives you the right to work, but then you're not going to be a dentist. You are going to be a limited, you're going to be having a, a limited activity. You can work under a dentist, uh, uh, doing limited procedures, dental procedures, but then you will know things. So, Baruch's allowedness give you that. And the advantage, once you work uh, in, in, a, in a dentist uh, praxis, then you know the language, the technical language. So, when you apply for the Foxprach proofing, when you appear for the exams, the advantage is you know the languages well, it's easy for you to do the exam well. And if, if you get the Baruch's allowedness, Within two years of getting the Baruch Sarlaubnis, you have to clear Faxprach proofing, you have to clear the Kennis proofing. Now, the Faxprach proofing, now how is the exam going to be? If the exam has three parts, it's going to be one hour exam of three sections of 20 minutes each. So, the, it's like in the, in the pharmacy registration video, I have uh, explained that it is somewhat similar. So, what is going to be here is with regard to the profession, there is a slight change. So, in the first section, the first 20 minutes, you are going to have uh, an interaction with the dental patient. Now, who is going to be the dental patient? The examiner is going to be the dental patient. It's a role play. So, when you appear for the exam, the examiner will act as a dental patient and then you can ask questions to the dental patient and then understand his dental condition. So, that is for 20 minutes. The next 20 minutes, what you have to do is, now you have talked with the dental patient, you have understood what his dental condition is. Now document all those things what you have understood about the dental condition of the patient. So that documentation gives you 20 minutes. And the third part is the examiner will ask you a questions, a few questions to know whether you have a holistic idea of the dental profession about dentistry and the practice all those things. So these three sections are going to be the, the one hour exam for Faxprach proofing or Faxprach and proofing. As I said, once you finish your Faxprach proofing, then you still have time to do the Kennedy's proofing. You don't have to do it immediately. You can take your time until you have understood the practice of dentistry in Germany well and you are sure that you know the, the dentistry practices well and then you can appear for the Kennedy's proofing. Now, this exam. Uh, is going to be in three parts. You have two parts of the, the exam on a day and then the other part on the next day. Now, this exam will test your knowledge about dentistry as a whole. Also, they will ask you to do some practical thing. They will ask you to do some dental procedures so that they want to know your practical skill in dentistry. So, once you do that and then if you are successful in your Kennedy's proofing, then you get the, the approval, the final approval which they call approbation and the, the approval for the dentistry is called approbation als Zahnarzt. So, once you get that Zahnarzt uh, uh, approval, it's called the approbation, 
then you can work in a dentistry but then the first two years after you pass the exams the first two years you cannot work independently so they call that period as assistant site you can work as an assistant not as an independent dentist so two years you can work in a practice as an as a, as a dentist uh, but then as under another dentist doing whatever things under his control or under his guidance under his directions so once you finish those uh, two years then you become an independent dentist now once you start the assistant site you get uh, between 3000 to 3500 euro as your salary and then once you complete those two years of assistant site then your salary will be probably 5000 euro and then later if you want to become a, a specialist dentist fast sanarst you can become that there are some practices some clinics who will uh, help you for that or you can do on your own but then apart from all those things the most important thing is if you are a bds from india if you want to uh, practice uh, in germany as a registered practitioner as a licensed practitioner then after your bds you go through this process of faxpark proofing and then the kidney proofing you get the first uh, approval the approbation als zanarst uh, and then you can do the assistant site for 2 years and then you become a independent dentist and that is going to be the process uh, for a dentist registration in in germany so before i conclude if you like the video if you found it's it's very useful maybe for you or for somebody else please share with as many people as you can like the video and then please do look forward to future videos because i'll be giving videos on various professional opportunities in germany various study options in germany also uh, education abroad in different uh, other countries so please do subscribe and like the channel so that uh, uh, you will uh, get to know more about the opportunities uh, in, in this field so as a concluding remark what i would like to say is it's a great opportunity for bds graduates from india to go to germany and the process is very clear you have to get the registration done there if you need any personal assistance as i said earlier you can contact me at jtkguide@gmail.com i'll be giving more and more videos about professional opportunities until my next video goodbye